On October 4, 2017, the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce and Middlesex Savings Bank held a ceremony to recognize the many contributors to the Hopkinton Library renovation and expansion project. Um, thank you so much for coming, and we have such a nice assembled crowd here tonight. I did want to say a couple of special shout outs to uh, Waterfresh Farm, who's done a wonderful job with catering. I think they've just set the bar so high over there with how it looks to have something nicely catered. And then we have Rachel Warrick from Marty's Wine, so thank you very much for both of them. Uh, I hope you'll have a nice evening here tonight. We did want to have everybody here just to recognize some special people in town. And um, at this point, I'm going to turn it over to John Auger, who is the Executive Vice President for Middlesex Savings Bank. Thank you very much, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, as Marion said, we do want to recognize some of the individuals, the groups that helped make the uh, renovation slash expansion of the library such a great success. Um, we at the bank love being a part of this community. We really enjoy it. And even more so now that we have this beautiful building framed perfectly inside of our doors right here as we look across the street. Um, it, it truly is magnificent. It, it really is. Um, I'm not sure there's a lot of people outside of the groups that were involved in this that could truly appreciate this project. Um, all the resources that had to come together, all the hard, hard work that was involved. I, I, incredibly challenging. You have to bring the whole community, get them all involved, get them on board. Um, I mean, you can't even start thinking about breaking ground or even the design of the place till you've gone through the, the whole uh, bond process, which I'm sure was an exciting one. Um, until you've gone and dealt with the state on the whole grant piece, and I'm certain there was a little paperwork and whatnot involved in that. And not to mention, gone out to the community and raised, I believe it was a million dollars in private funds, is that right? Yes. Holy cow. <laughs> I live uh, in a neighboring town, Grafton, and We've been trying to do a similar thing, and, and we've kind of got to the point now where it's getting started. Um, the project was not nearly as large as this one, and it didn't need quite as many resources, but it still took us years and years and years to get there. Um, I was a huge supporter of it right from the beginning, because previous to Grafton, I lived in a town called York Bay, beautiful little community, and we had, prior to my leaving there, we had built a similar building not rock and stuff, but a beautiful big building. And I saw firsthand the impact that had on the whole community. It was, it was amazing. Every club, group, committee held their meetings there. Um, any events such as you know, fundraisers and everything were held there. My kids probably, they were there all the time for educational or fun programs and stuff. It, it, it just had a huge impact. It became kind of the town center, if you will. Um, undoubtedly, this building is going to do the same thing for Hopkinton. Um, what you guys have done here is just spectacular. Um, in addition to meeting you know, the needs today that a library has to provide to communities, you've built something that folks are going to enjoy, they're going to cherish for decades, decades to come. So hats off to all of you that were involved in that process. With that, I'm going to recognize a couple of the groups that I hope are represented here and, and, and played such a big part in this. Um, first, of course, the Board of Trustees, who oversees the library and takes care of all of that. The uh, Friends of the Hockington Public Library. I know um, this is the group of volunteers that came together and held a bunch of fundraisers, including the Apple Crisp sale, which I'm quite sorry I missed. Um, <laughs> Some library book sales as well, I believe. I'd also like to recognize the Hockington Public Library Foundation. Anybody here from there? Um, I understand you created the Thousand Homes for Hockington Library campaign, as well as some other fundraisers, such as the Pink Drink Night. 
Again, what I'm really sorry I missed. <laughs> tell, me, tell me what that was. Um, a food truck festival, a uh, mother-daughter princess tea, and a wildly successful Poptoberfest. Mm -hmm. That's clever. It, it really is. Um, and of course, the members of the permanent and the uh, library building committees who, again, helped pull this all together. I'd also like to recognize a couple of individuals that were, uh, and I'm sure we're going to miss it a lot, quite frankly, but, you know, starting with um, uh, Norman Kumalo, Norman earlier. Oh, he left. Good excuse. Um, he, of course, is the town manager, um, and I'm sure had played a part in all that bureaucracy to get through all those processes we alluded to earlier. Um, Dave Daltorio, town engineer and facilities coordinator. John Westerling, the director of public works. My understanding is these gentlemen provided their expertise throughout the whole process. I um, also want to recognize uh, Ronak Hussein, who I believe served as the library director for some 11 or 12 years. Is he with us? No, she knows. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, you're on the list. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I want to recognize Deb Irving, who I guess was temporarily. Yep. You were there for all the fun and excitement. Yep. And now, Heather, your turn. Yep. <laughs> Again, on behalf of Middlesex Savings, I want to thank you for joining us. Um, I want to say how much we appreciate what all of you have done for the community here. And um, I want to thank you for giving so much of your time and efforts to do something so special for everyone else. With that, I'm going to turn this over to Scott Richardson, who I believe wanted to say a few words as well. Thank you. Sometimes it's hard to remember what hat I might be wearing. Uh, I'm sorry that you have to look at my face too often in the paper lately. Um, I have informed the uh, board of directors that this is my last term, and I keep reminding them that. So by next July, you will have a new president of the Hopkins Chamber. That being said, uh, I've you weren't supposed to say that publicly. I need to say that publicly. <laughs> So I have I have a lot of witnesses and now and, and it's on HCAM now. So, so uh, I'm wearing the Hoppington Chamber of Commerce hat right now. So I, what I wanted to do was uh, acknowledge the bank and your staff, John, your facilities people, Marion, and all the people that work here, and again the people that made this renovation possible because the last renovation wasn't too bad. But this certainly is an exciting and much improved space. So uh, basically, recognition award presented to Middlesex Savings Bank. Congratulations on your recent renovations to your Hopkinton branch. It's very well done and truly reflects your ongoing commitment to the Hopkinton community. And so, um, if it's okay, it would be nice if we could bring some of the library people that have been involved in this project, some of us for many, many years. Uh, so, Laura, Pam, Amanda, Amanda, <laughs> Amanda uh, Beth, Susie. Yeah, are there are friends of the library behind the column. Come on. Deb, Heather, <laughs> who are we missing? Yep. Christine. Christine. So. Oh, there she is. Oh, she ought to be right in between. <laughs> She's our liaison. Yes. Right yep. here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have two tiers. So we have uh, trustees, friends, and uh, foundation uh, library and building committee as well. Um, some of these people have worked 
okay. for a very long time, supporting obviously the existing library, but also finally seeing this uh, dream come true of upgrading our library to be you know, what it really should be for a community of this size. Uh, we, for a number of years, we had the distinction of having pretty much the smallest library in the Commonwealth, uh, which doesn't really get you much. Uh, and how, uh, and again, the staff, uh, if, if there's any library staff here, I don't think there is, but how they manage to make things work. Yes, the senior staff. Uh, again, kudos to, that, to them and to your staff that made the library work for so many years in very quaint but very tight conditions. So certainly we have now a library that's the right size, that can service the community now and for years to come, and will certainly be the focal point of downtown, and we'll see a lot more people coming downtown to the library. So thank you. <laughs> Laura, yes. would you like to say something? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the right time? Yes. I wasn't sure if I was there. Um, Well, thank you all for coming. This is so wonderful to be invited, asked to have this type of event tonight. I was truly thrilled and touched and honored. And um, on behalf of the Huffington Public Library Foundation team, we are so delighted that somebody else is throwing a party <laughs> us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're so thrilled. Um, Pam and Amanda are, are part of the Library Foundation. And again, I just, we can go through the list um, of all of the people over the decades that made this happen. Former trustees, the Board of Selectmen, and their leadership over the last decade on this. Without the Selectmen and Norman, this never would have happened. We were grassroots to begin with, but the town um, picked up on the need and the essential nature of this community resource and was really just fantastic um, for the last decade. And we thank you all, as well as Mike Damasio and Dan McIntyre, John Ferrari, members of the building committee, of staff, directors of the library, um, the friends of the library. Everybody has really worked as a team. It's really been a giant family. This is a fraction of us up here that have worked on this through the years. Um, and just to speak to the heart of um, one thing that um, I really want to acknowledge is Hawkington Public Library Foundation, as you know, is just about reached its goal of raising $1 million for the for the library on behalf of the community and we are, have been honored and thrilled to be able to do that. It has been an enormous support. We've um, thrown about 20 parties, had about 20 events in the last five years and uh, built on the success each and every year. Had 1,000 homes for Hopkinson Library as well and we couldn't have done it without this basically core group, our board of nine people including Scott, Pam and Amanda who have worked so diligently over the last five or six years to get this all um, all together so I would really like to acknowledge the library foundation and even our members that aren't here or are coming and aren't quite here yet but we are um, we are honored and thrilled to have been able to support the community in doing this which which everyone has been so enthusiastic and supportive of so so thank you again <laughs> Again, I wanted to also acknowledge Middlesex Savings Bank's uh, original leadership contribution uh, three and a half years ago, four years ago, of $75,000 that uh, is hugely significant, kicked off the campaign and had other businesses and uh, individuals follow suit. And then, to top it off, they are now a uh, sponsor. Yep, uh, lead sponsor. Yep. Lead sponsor for our gala. Uh, on October 28th. Uh, so, if you haven't bought your tickets, I'm amazed that you haven't. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there are still some available. So, uh, we are having a huge party on the 28th uh, right across the street. So, we look forward to seeing everyone there. And again, thank you to Middlesex Savings Bank for a huge uh, leadership role in the fundraising effort. So, um, Heather, did you want to sure. say anything? I can say a couple words. Um, I, I came new to the game, to this project. I worked in Hawkington for about three years, and I've been director for <laughs> a few hours. <laughs> yeah, a little while. Just a little while now. Um, but it became immediately apparent to me 
when I got here, I mean, the fact that there was a building renovation in progress was a huge draw for me in wanting to be here because I know what that does for a library and a community. Um, but it became very clear very quickly how massive this effort was, how many people were coming together to make it happen, um, and how much goodwill the community had and support for uh, this really exciting building that now has been in the works for something like a decade. I believe, uh, from start to finish. So um, I also would just like to express my profound appreciation to everybody who has had a hand in this project in one way or another and helped move it forward um, up to this point. I don't know all the names, um, but what we have across the street that we're going to open the doors to hopefully within a month is astoundingly beautiful. And it is going to be a really remarkable space for this community to come together and to um, interact with each other and to learn and grow um, and build a better Hopkinton collectively. Um, so it's a huge honor for me to be standing here knowing that I get to help steer all of that and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and again, I'm just very grateful. So thank you and thank you to the Chamber and the Middlesex Savings Bank for hosting us. One more shameless plug, uh, on behalf of the Chamber, we want to acknowledge our leadership members that are on this board here, uh, and of course, Middlesex Savings Bank is one of those. So again, thank you. Um, like to have uh, John Catino come up and say a few words? Do you, we can all stay standing here if you want. Or? No, you, you go back. <laughs> no, I, I came totally unprepared. But I, I really first I want to thank Middlesex Savings Bank first for, for being one of the first to, to uh, start the fundraising and now to just step up again and to, you know, to bring it all home and for hosting this event. Yeah, just really Middlesex. You know, it, it's, it's neighbors like this that, that make this a town. It's, it's you know, all of these, these photos on the wall that, that, that this is Hopkinton. People working together. It's what I say to all my friends is this is what we do. We take care of each other. And that's what makes us a great town. Um, you know, right, when I came here about 20 years ago, I saw the little library. My wife and I both came from towns with a big library. She said, wow, I wonder what they're going to do about that. <laughs> and then about 10 years ago, we started hearing stuff about it. And then I remember one of my first meetings on the Board of Selectmen where there was, there was rumblings that there were people that just didn't really want it to happen. All the, there were people saying, what do we need a library for? We've got Wikipedia. We've got, we've got Google. What do you need a library for? But, you know, all great civilizations, that was the storehouse for all the knowledge. It, it's, it, my, my wife, when she was going through medical school, lived in the library, loved her carol. And it was a place to go to be with other people and to study and to learn. It's this more than just looking at your, your iPhone to, to get information. It's to be with people that you can discuss it with, you can, you can interact with, you can, you can differ, have different opinions and, 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 um, and get and pass knowledge, places to have meetings. You know, it's just so great that it's all coming together and, and it's, it's because of all of you. And really, thank you for, for taking care of us. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for making Hopkinton what it is. And that's, that's really all I can say is just thank you very, very much to everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. At this point, we do have some um, certificates of appreciation that we would like to hand out to some of the groups. And if I could just call out the names of everyone at one time, if you could just join us up, we'd like to hand those to you. I'm not sure if there are any uh, members of the Library Board of Trustees here at this point, but if we have Susan Porter, Stanley Polnick, June Harris, Michael McNamara, or Beth Deliva. Any of those? There you are, Susan. On behalf of all, <laughs> we're going to definitely get the certificates for the others to them. Okay. But we do have one for you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So now for the friends of the um, Hopkinton Public Library, we have Beth Mazet. Lynn Rosenblum, Barbara Beal, I don't believe this here. Thank you. Sally Getchell, Marilee Makertech, Christine Clifford, Dave Roberts, I don't think we're going Christine Clifford.
Our next group is for the Hopkinton Public Library Foundation. We have Scott Richardson, who is... <laughs> we didn't give you Go one on for on everything on. because we just overworked her new paper. Thank you. And we have Laura Barry. Uh, Katie Davenport. Katie Principe. John Ferrari. Amanda Lasada. Hi. Lindsay McDermott. Thank you. Amy. Hey. Justin was not going to help. It's like a little Lindsay McDermott, uh, Amy Montalto, and Pam Polito. So we have Thank you, Pam. And even though Ronak isn't here, we're going to mail one to her, I think. <laughs> but we have Deb Irvin and Heather Bachman here as library directors. <laughs> The next would be for the permanent in the library building committee. We have Dan McIntyre, <laughs> Rob Scott, Mike Damasio, David Godfroy, Laura Barry, and Scott Richardson again, Mark Gates. Absolutely. I'll take Scott. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Scott, yeah, Scott. And then we had um, Norman, who I know had to leave. Is Dave Daltario and John Westerly? You know what they're doing? They're working. Oh, good reason to not be here. So we will make sure they get them. But thank you so much. I appreciate that you came and joined us tonight. And I hope that you enjoy some of the wonderful food and libations. <laughs> Thanks again for coming.